Good morning, YouTubers. It is Friday, March 1st, 2013. Woohoo! 11.47 a.m., 28 bitterly cold degrees, so woohoo! <laughs> Alright, YouTube's messing up again this morning. It does not. Did you find it? I got it back out of the line. Oh. All right, thank you for returning my useless cell phone. Doesn't work no more. Thank you. All right, it is 11:48 a.m. YouTube's messing up again. It does not want to seem. Let's see, is it going to up oh, wrong one? Does not want to process my videos. Nope, still not processing that one. Oh well, YouTube can. I'll be nice. All right, our daily Bible study for this morning, for March 1st, is from Psalm 69, verse 13. But I keep praying to you, Yahweh, hoping this time you will show me favor and your unfailing love, O Yahweh. Answer my prayer with your sure salvation. Insight. What problems David faced? He was scoffed at, mocked, insulted, humiliated, and made the object of citywide gossip. But still he prayed. Challenge? When we are completely beaten down, we are tempted to turn from God, give up, and quit trusting Him. When your situation seems hopeless, Determine that no matter how bad things become, you will continue to pray. Yahweh will hear your prayers, and He will rescue you. When others reject us, we need Yahweh most. Don't turn from your most trustful, trustful friend. Or morning and evening is from Psalm, Songs. 416 Awake, O north wind, and come, thou south, blow upon my garden, that the spices there are may blow out. Anything is better than the dead calm of indifference. O souls may wisely, our souls may wisely desire the north wind of trouble, if that alone can be sanctified to the drawing forth of the perfume of our graces. So long as it cannot be said, Yahweh was not in the wind, we will not shrink from the most wintry blast that ever blew upon plants of grace. Did not the spouse in this, in this verse humbly submit herself to the reproofs of her beloved, only entreating him to send forth his grace in some form, and making no stipulation as to the particular manner in which it should come. Did she not, like ourselves, become so utterly weary of deadness and unholy calm that she signed or any visitation which should brace her to action. Yet she desired the warm south wind of comfort. Two, the smile of divine love, the, jo the joy of the Redeemer's presence. These are often mightily effectual to arouse our sluggish life. She desires either one or or the other, or both, so that she might but be able to delight her beloved with the spices of her garden. She cannot endure to be unprofitable, nor can we. How cheering a thought that Jesus can find comfort in our poor, feeble graces. Can it be? It seems far too good to be true. Well, well, may we court trial, or even death itself, if we shall thereby be aided to make glad 
Emmanuel's heart. Oh, that our heart we crush to atoms, if only by such bruising are sweet. Yahushua could be glorified. Graces unexercised as are as sweet perfumes, slumbering in the cups of the flowers. The wisdom of the great husband man overrules diverse and opposite causes to the procedure the one desires result and makes both affliction and consolation draws forth the grateful I lost my place, I'm sorry. Odors of faith, love, patient, hope, resignation, joy, and the other fair flowers of the garden. May we know by sweet experience what this means. Some daily light on our daily path. Galatians 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. First John 4, 16. We have come to know and have believed the love which Yahweh has for us. Yahweh is love, and the one who abides in love abides in Yahweh, and Yahweh abides in him. Romans 5, verse 5, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of Yahweh has been poured out within our hearts <coughs> through the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. 1 Peter 2, 7, this precious value, then, is for you who believe, but for those who dis disbelieve the stone which the builder rejected, this became the very cornerstone. 1 John 4.19 We love because he first loved us. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14 and 15 For the love of Christ controls us. Having concluded this, the one died for all, therefore all died, and he died for all, so that, I'm sorry, and he died for all, so that they who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose again on their behalf. First Thessalonians 4, 9, now as the love of the brethren, we have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves are taught by Yahweh to love one another. John 15:12. This is my commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. 1 Peter 4:8. Above all, keep fervent in your love for one another because love converts a multitude of sin. Love covers a multitude of sin. Ephesians 5, 2, and walk in love, just as Yahshua also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering in a sac an offering in a sac sacrifice of Yahweh as a fragrant aroma. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, blessed be is the love of Yahweh and Yahshua, my brothers and sisters. Oh, there's nothing more precious than the love of Yahweh and Yahshua. You can't have anything more pure, more special than that love. Do you have the love of Yahweh and Yahshua? Of course you do. Whether you want it or not, everybody has the love of Yahweh and Yahshua. Yahweh and Yahshua loves everybody, regardless of whether you love him, them. The question is, do you accept Yahshua as your Lord and Savior? Do you accept Yahshua as your Lord and Savior, my brothers and sisters. Do you believe he died on that cross for you? Do you believe his blood 
washes away your sins and makes you white as snow again. I hope so. I hope you believe in Yahshua. I hope Yahshua is your savior. I really, really, truly do. Only few saints will be there among the first calling because they don't fully do Yahshua's and Yahweh's commandments, Yahweh's commandments. And that's a sad thing. We all will have to be beheaded who does not honor Yahweh's commandments and honors the Sabbath. And that's the one that a lot of us are going to get nailed on, is the Sabbath. So a lot of us will be have to be beheaded. A lot of ministers, pastors, preachers, teachers, who think, Woohoo, the first calling, I'm not going to have to go through what you guys are going through. Mm-hmm. Get down off of that pedestal. He's going to knock you down. You guys that don't want to teach and preach the Sabbath or teach and preach Revelation, you're going to you're gonna know. And when you go up there, after you get beheaded and ask, why wasn't I within those first ones? Why was that woman, that Jezebel, up there before me? He's going to say, because that Jezebel went to tell you what you should do, and you did not want to listen to her. I sent her to you to tell you what I wanted you to do, and you did not want to listen because you thought she was somebody lower than you. You didn't want to listen to my angel. Just because somebody may not be as high morally as you think, doesn't mean that they ain't somebody that God sent to you telling you and that God didn't send them to you to listen to. Yeah, that's mainly going out to my pastor. Not that he'll ever see it or listen to me, but I was the Jezebel that was sent to the pastor who pushed away. And not Jezebel as of seduction or, you know, like that. Just the, I used to be a Jezebel, yes. I used to be Mary Magdalene. So. And if I do, by any chance, do receive the honor of going ahead on the first calling, which it would be a miracle because I sin daily. Then when he goes up there and says, how was that woman allowed before me? He's going to tell him why. I sent her to you twice to tell you to honor my Sabbath. You would not listen. You brushed her aside because you thought she was lower than you doesn't matter what our standards are or what our level of integrity is. Listen, if somebody's telling you, is coming to you to talk to you about the Lord, listen, God's probably sending, Yahweh's sending them to you. Listen to them. You will know whether or not they're truthful. Listen to what they say. Yahweh will put it in your heart to listen. If it's truthful or not, listen to your heart, my brothers and sisters. Honor his Sabbath. That's the worst one that we're all guilty of. I love you, my brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. Shalom.